Hello all, I am working with the UB Tech UKIT Intermediate platform and I built what they are calling their forklift model, which I think it's more of a bulldozer than a forklift. So that's what it is. Now we've got our main control board. We've got some rear drive wheels. As you notice, only the two wheels in the back have servos attached to them and then the two wheels in the front are just rolling free which works which can work just fine and then there's one servo for the um okay anything for the for the uh i don't even know what to call that front part anymore um to lift it up or to tilt it um there's only four servos in the kit, which is why it's only two wheel drive. Not the forward wheel drive would get you more. Give me, get you a little more power if you really ever had to do anything. So, um, the hardest part to build was that front part. It's just a whole bunch of pieces putting going together. And they have it as a hundred piece build 100 steps boom and then we say yes and we start coding and they've got some nice sample codes in here to run it for example another thing to remember you know why they got servo going clockwise and counterclockwise you got to remember that because when you put them on opposite sides, the servos facing the opposite direction, they're actually backwards from each other. So in order to turn the same direction for the vehicle, the servos have to turn opposite direction. So that's why they're paired up like that clockwise, counterclockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise. So when I hit go, Let's move my uh, connect to main control box. When I come on and off, I can remember to do that. It says there's three servos. Awesome. Now I'm in, you know, that little blue up there is saying, yes, now we're connected. And if I hit go on my model, oh, there we go. It's going to go backwards and forwards. My, my table's not very big. But it's my book table. And we'll stop that. So, things to play with there on uh, the speed. You can play with very slow, slow, medium, fast, very fast. You can play with the wait time for how far, how long you want it to run. So they're just, they're just showing you, you know, running it backwards and forwards. Now let's go to example two. And as you notice in example two, in any one block, the servos are turning the same direction on the servo. So on the object, they'd be turning in opposite directions. This should make it turn. Now, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't do a good job of turning. I mean, if I hold it up, it can it start. You see, it's starting to spin in place. But it's wanting to go forward. Um, so there's some troubleshooting to do with that. You can see the servos are turning opposite directions. But they're just not doing a great job of making the vehicle turn. Now, it didn't matter. Um, you're thinking, well, maybe we should make them both go the same speed, forwards and backwards. And I did that. And what I found out, and then I went off and did something else and tested um, each servo individually. And found out there's too much slipping going on for some reason. And I tried it on my floor and on my table. Um... 
But yeah, going one going one direction, one going the other direction on the object should make a turn. Actually, if you still make them both go forward, if you make them go at different speeds, it should make it turn. It's just a wider turn. Um, but I'm getting too much slipping with the wheels for some reason. They're touching the ground. They're just, they're just slipping. And so let's get to the third example. So that's something for you to fiddle with, how to get good traction. Now the third example gets in here, our servo three for um, lifting our object. What did I hit? Nope, don't want to do that. So I'm gonna change that wait time. Um, so they got server one and two moving, and they got server three going to a 45, then going to a zero. We start throwing mode to 45, go to a zero. So here's what happens. I'm gonna hold it in place. So they're lifting 45 to zero. So things that you'd want to, you know, test with, again, always, you know, explore how things turn. Um, you've got to be careful with that, with this servo, how far you actually make it go. So notice which block I pulled out. I didn't block, pull the continuous block. Um, we want to make it go to zero. So let's make it go to zero. Yep, oh, servo one. Make sure you pick the right servo. It was picked on servo one. All right. So there's zero. And now, you know, just work it in increments to how far it can go. Because there are, there are limitations on rotation. First of all, it's got a limitation 118, negative 118, 118. But because of how it's housed on the, in this, and built to this and attached to this, there are going to be limitations on how far you can go. Um, you know, what happens if I go negative five? Don't see much, right? Because, you know, negative five is not much of an angle. But let's pop to ne well, go negative ten. You don't want to do this really in big increments. All right, having trouble getting my fingers to touch the right places. So there's negative 10. There's negative 20. Negative 30. Okay, so you see how things are happening? Okay, so, you know, just be careful how far you want that thing to go. Uh, let's start going forward. We had it at 45 before, so... 45 is okay. Let's go 60. 60 is okay. Right. So just work those up for how far you want things to go. And now you come in the logic of what I want to do. I want to go forward. I want to try and lift something up. Um, I want to carry it. I'm going to go back. Something that you might think to see if you can build. If you're actually going to try and carry stuff, you might want to put like a side on here somehow to actually hold things in place. I don't know which of these would work better. So there's some thoughts on that model. Enjoy.